Welcome to this first video of our embedding series, where I will show you how to use TIBCO JasperSoft to quickly create ad hoc views of your data and seamlessly embed them within your application using Visualize.js. We'll begin by looking at a preview of our JavaScript API and the control that Visualize.js provides, placing ad hoc views natively within the code base of your application. By clicking on the links in the description below, you can easily follow along with our live code samples, fork our GitHub repos, and access the source code for these projects. Here, we walk through everything from basic embedding of tables, cross tabs and charts, controlling their look and feel with CSS, embedding multiple views, controlling the canvas of a visualization, passing parameters and populating input controls, using hyperlinks, passing the data object directly into custom visualizations using outside charting libraries, controlling the UI with CSS for both rows and columns, and understanding the session control and authentication, all with ad hoc views embedded directly from the Jasper Report server. So let's get started by downloading our sample application from GitHub. Opening modules and going to module one allows us to see our style sheets for both the page and the ad hoc views. We also have our primary JavaScript file for our visualize.js code that we're going to build. And then we have our main.html file. Let's take a look at that first. In our editor, we can see that we're referencing visualize.js in our script tag. Here I'm actually referencing our live demo server that you can use for the convenience of this demonstration. You can also reference your own local host. This will require you to load the data set from the resources folder, as well as import the Jasper Report server resources. So for now, let's simply use the live demo server. Here we have a basic template of code that references our visualize.js function. We start out with authentication. Here we have plain text authentication, but in most real world applications, we would use tokens here and single sign on. I've connected V, my object, to this function and append it to an ad hoc view called bar chart. Now let's go find our resource in the Jasper report server for this ad hoc view. In my case, I'll find the reference to my ad hoc view under urban roast and in the management folder. Here I find net sales, total cost, and gross profit. I can right click and select properties. Here I find the path to my ad hoc view. I'll copy that and then go back to my code base. Now I'll place that under resource. Going to my HTML, I can find the div for my bar chart. I'll reference the ID inside container. Let's save these files and then open it up in our web browser. Now when I load the page, my ad hoc view renders. I also have my chart dialog selector that I can move about the page. This comes out of the box with JasperSoft and allows me to select different visualization types. This selector can be customized with CSS and JRS themes. We can turn this off with a line of CSS if we don't want to make it available to our end users. Here I select the ad hoc CSS file. And then I uncomment this section of code. Here under ID bar, I use the visualization launcher class name and set the display to none. When I reload the page, the visualization selector is gone. Let's keep the chart selector for now and in later modules, we'll look at how you can use visualize.js to set exact chart types in your page. We'll also look at how you can do CSS overrides with tables and cross tabs. But for now, let's look at how we can format this chart using the Jasper Report server. I can go to chart formatting under that ad hoc view, then select advanced, and here I can view the properties and values that make up the styling and the look and feel of this chart. I'll select the edit button under the property for background color and set a new value for that background. Let's apply that and also select a new color for net sales. Here I can see under edit, 
that net sales is the first color. We'll apply that and then save our ad hoc view. You can select more information in the chart format panel to view more properties and values that are available. This formatting can also be used to move things like legends or to set new sizes for the fonts in the tooltip to help your data blend seamlessly within your application.